Hello, I'm Kathy Plowman and I represent the 12th District here in Fayette County. And I'm proud to say the 12th District is 70% of our land mass. So all of the rural area, especially our PDR farms, that's a purchase of development rights. And we're going to talk a little bit about that today. I'm here with Robert James and we're here at Walnut Lawn Farm. 400 acres, right? 420, okay. uh, about uh, 300 of which are in Fayette County. Oh, that's great. One of the things I wanted to ask you, I, I think I heard that this farm has been owned by your family since the 1800s. Can you give a little history on that? Yes, my uh, my great-great-grandfather actually, uh, great-great-great-grandfather, excuse me, actually. It's four? Four greats? Th three greats. Three greats. Three okay, greats. Got it. Okay. Was from Virginia, and he actually rode through this country, uh, Kentucky, uh, while visiting relatives and conducting some business for his father in 1822. Oh my gosh. Fell in love with the, the scenery, the landscape, and, and knew he wanted to move here. Mm -hmm. uh, actually wound up uh, traveling to Mississippi and being a, a broker, a cotton broker mm -hmm. down there, and eventually earned enough money to, to move the family back up here and purchase this farm we're standing on. Well, I can see why I fell in love with it. It's gorgeous out here. We're standing out here on the farm with three different crops, I believe, in, in the picture here. Yeah. So you're the fourth generation, Robert? Sixth generation. Oh my gosh, sixth generation. <laughs> That's quite a lot. Yes. Robert, you also serve on the Rural Land Management Board. Can you talk a little bit what is the Rural Land Management Board? I think you're vice chair. Yes. Yes, the Rural Land Management Board is basically uh, charged with overseeing the uh, rural parts of Fayette County of implementing the Rural Land Management Plan. Mm -hmm. uh, we also oversee the Purchase of Development Rights Program, which is our conservation effort at the city level. It's very important, a very forward-thinking program that was mm -hmm. established in 2000 to help preserve this unique landscape that uh, has brought Lexington a lot of uh, strong agricultural markets throughout its history. It's been regarded as the Athens of the West. Yeah. Uh, the very rich soils here have helped produce some very fine quality horses, thoroughbreds. Yeah. Uh, it's grown quality hemp, tobacco throughout the years, and uh, helped make a lot of people a lot of money in well, the early days. The PDR program, which is the, the property development, I mean, purchase of development rights, um, has been in, I guess, since 22 years, as you said. And one of the things that I think people really don't understand, can you tell how that process works? I mean, how do you become a PDR farm? And why do you want to become a PDR farm? So, so there's an application window, uh, one, usually once a year, uh, whenever the board opens, opens it up, anyone can apply. Mm -hmm. Farms are ranked based on their soil score, based on their proximity to the urban service boundary, uh, and any significant historical factors. That all kind of goes into the, the All formula. goes into them. The farms are ranked, uh -huh. and then uh, the board will make the, the farms will be appraised, and then the board will make offers to those farms, which basically uh, prohibits subdivision of the farm mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, will stop basically uh, low density development from occurring there. It basically protects that farmland for the future benefit of the community, really. Yes, I mean, we are, like you said, Athens of the West. I mean, well, how many farms do we have in the PDR program right now? Ooh, the actual number of different farms. It's hundreds. It's, yes. Isn't it? I think I've read it. It's that. hundreds, but you know, Really, we've protected about uh, 31,000, 32,000 acres of, of quality Fayette County. And how many acres are you trying to acquire? Uh, the end goal of the program is 50,000 acres. Okay. And uh, hopefully that will provide a critical mass for the agriculture in the future. Yes. And uh, keep Lexington a uh, player in ag tech and other exciting initiatives coming down the line. So Robert, tell me, um, how, do you, how does anyone tell if a farm is in the PDR program? Well, if they're driving down the road, they might see uh, a sign that will say this is a PDR protected farm. Uh, we're actually redesigning those at this time, so it'll be a bright white sign with the uh, big blue horse on it Good. saying that this land is conserved. When we, I first started today, we, I brought up the idea that the PDR, the acronym, people might see that or hear about it, and they really don't know everything that's behind it. And so I think that the, it's really important for our folks to know why 
the purchase of development rights it is so important to Fayette County. And so sitting on the, the Rural Land Management Board, what are some of the challenges that you find with people not understanding? Um, I, you know, you all get it. You know, how do we let our, our public get it? Well, uh, it's always a challenge. Uh, generally, the community is very uh, receptive to conserving land. They understand the importance of it, uh, both historically and looking forward, that this highly productive soil be conserved and protected for future generations. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's a misconception that we're just uh, handing out money to, mm -hmm. to rich landowners. Yeah. But if you look at the, uh, the farms that have conserved, it's people from all walks of life, socioeconomic status and you know, their crop farms, horse farms, their uh, vegetable farms. It's just all types and manner of agriculture because the program's true goal is to conserve the land, that mm -hmm. limited raw resource that makes our county so special. Yes, you, you said that some folks think, many folks think that it is just rich farm farm or rich horse farms and we're giving them our money, but it, it comes back and the return on that investment. And it, so I know over the years, I think, I think it's about $65,000 over the past, $65 million over the past 22 years locally have gone in, but isn't it matched by federal dollars? Yes, yes, the federal government matches uh, most of uh, the easements we offer. Mm -hmm. uh, usually up to 50 percent hmm. uh, so we're actually drawing in a lot of outside money that from uh, organizations or the government that that believe in the mission we're we're uh, we're pursuing and, and that program is all over the country yes the, uh, there are other conservation programs uh, of course there are voluntary or donation based programs like mm -hmm. bluegrass conservancy mm -hmm. uh, the state of kentucky has the pace program okay. for anyone who sees this video that's outside of fayette county that uh, program is available to them and and basically you know it's just trying to conserve our farmland and and the what what makes our soil so quality I mean, it's, you know, people talk about our soil I mean, and also what it does for the horses and limestone. Is that what it's about? It, that's the bedrock beneath the soil is okay. the limestone. And so a lot of the phosphorus from that limestone will leach up into mm -hmm. the soils. Mm -hmm. And that phosphorus helps promote uh, bone density in okay. animals. Uh -huh. And that's why... Uh, why our horses are so strong, why our cattle are so strong. And yeah, that uh, limestone rich spring water that oh, yeah. uh, comes yeah. out of the ground all over is what attracted the bourbon industry to this Ooh, area originally. And that has been a hit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, people come from all over, but also for our horse farms. And our, mm -hmm. how many working uh, farms are there? I know this is a working farm, you know, with the, the crops and, do you have cattle? Uh, we used to, okay. we don't currently. Okay. Are, are there, is that a dying breed in terms of the working farms for agriculture? Um, cattle, fa cattle farms are, are still very prevalent in Fayette County. In mm -hmm. fact, Kentucky itself is the biggest cattle state east of the Mississippi River. Mm -hmm. um, our, usually where the soil or the topography is a little flatter, we see mm -hmm. more crop development. But, you know, horse industry, of course, is really big here. And uh, cattle farms are still popular and, and row crops where... Uh, where the land is a little flatter and there's less reduce or less risk of erosion. So why should someone that has land out in the agricultural area of our county, why should they consider PDR, the purchase of development rights? Well, um, if, if they're like me, they get up every morning, they think about what they're going to do, they go out in the field or the paddock, uh -huh. uh, get to work, maybe, maybe they stop for a moment and think about where they are. I don't do it every day for sure, but sometimes I'll stop and just look around me and realize the natural beauty that surrounds me every day. And it's that reason that keeps, you going. That keeps me going. And that's why I'm glad that we uh, secured our farm in the Purchase of Development Rights Program. Well, it will enable future generations to enjoy that beauty and to make a living off the farm like I have done. Well, speaking on behalf of Lexington and our community and the county, I'm so glad the PDR program's in place because we're saving places like this. And that's what Fayette County's all about. That's why we become and we are the horse capital of the world, but 
it's our landscape, it's our rural landscape that keeps us, keeps us going in that vein. So Robert, thank you so much for allowing us to come out here to Walnut Lawn Farm. And thank you for your leadership in the rural land management and for having this beautiful farm for all of us to enjoy. It was my pleasure. Okay, thank you.